Hello and welcome to the studio, it's Vin Jelly here. Um, today I'm going to be working from a photograph, from the photographs of Ian, who's the director of a nearby art gallery, and he kindly posed for me when I was working up there uh, for several photographs, uh, because I've got a watercolour workshop in Northern Ireland coming up fairly soon and I need as much practice as I can get. And one of the themes I'm going to be exploring in that workshop is working from reference photographs and selecting uh, relevant parts of the reference photograph and extrapolating bits from it rather than slavishly copying it. So as you can see, the photo is quite dark, actually. Um, it looks darker on the screen than it actually is, but there's a lot of strong shadow over on the left hand side. And um, I'm working with a Caran d'Ache watercolour pencil there, which is a very mid value um, crayon. and just trying to gently draw the portrait, um, understanding the tones and the limitation of the, of the variation of tones, but trying to develop the form and get the light worked out. Basically a scheme from which I can produce a watercolour. Um, the drawing process helps you to identify how to approach the painting so the process is very useful and it gives me a basis from which I can make a tracing and transfer it to the watercolour paper. So as you can see at the top there's little dots I've more or less come up with a tonal range uh, from which I'm going to work within and um, I'm more or less sticking to that. I started off with a couple of tones from it and then the finished drawing I've overlaid with tracing paper here you can see and I've already traced out the salient lines ready to work and transferred them onto the watercolour paper which preserves the surface of the watercolour paper and means you don't have to do any rubbings out or corrections. So I start with a very cool um, basically two-tone study in cobalt blue maybe three tones and then I start working over that with with flesh tones, warmer tones on top of the cool, allowing that cool paint to provide contrast and vibrancy in the more or less complementary oranges and reds that are going on top of it. And as you can see, the blue still shows through, but you do it does help to emphasize some of the warms and cool the, the cooler areas that stay there. And keeping my drawing in mind I'm not going too dark here and I'm not going to include the shadowing on the left or a dark background which I might if I was using oil um, but I just want to keep the portrait very simple and just about the head and shoulders so I'm not really going to include any background just a couple of little wispy washes and keep the focal point on the face so building up the darks I, I haven't used any black or there are some touches of Payne's Grey in the hat, but mainly I'm using cobalt blue, a bit of burnt umber and a crimson to build those darks. So they're all purple based or blue based um, with a little bit of brown here and there in the beard. Um, but you can still see the blue shining through and it does give a little bit of vibrance to those colours, as I said before. And just adding some of the details on the scarf and the shirt gives a secondary focal area and um, gives us something to look at. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Here's the finished drawing and the finished painting. Um, I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again soon.